Nathan. Um, okay, we got up to the time when you're you're uh, going to pick up trucks that people have deserted, and yeah. and uh, was that just about the just just before you retired? Uh, yeah, I retired. I mean, uh, they didn't have. They didn't want. They wanted me to go back on full time, and I told them that uh, I didn't want to go back to real full time work no more, because I didn't want to be off the road. You know, when you're gone for a week, two weeks, and and so then uh, I put in for another job. To, uh, it was it just happened with mail carrier, <coughs> mail carriers of America. And uh, I went over to talk to them, and they said, "Yeah, I, that they they'd hire me to to run to Oshkosh and Milwaukee, and uh, they said that there was a uh, another guy working here named uh, Dennis in Danford. So I mean, I knew him, you know, and so so then I I've been, been working for them." Until uh, 2002, and then uh, and then I had got an attack. I had to get, get a colon operation. Oh, that's right, yeah. And then you know, and then and then that kind of retired. Put you down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. Uh, you have to. I had to get a complete another physical, and mm -hmm. uh, like I said, the first operation. I didn't really feel like working no more. So then the second operation then uh, which was in last uh, 203 uh, I thought maybe I I could maybe maybe I would go back <coughs> go back to work again part time but mm -hmm. then uh, but then I there's a lot of dro jobs for truck driving, you could get a job almost any. I mean, you know, but uh, I thought I would want to go back to the same mail carriers. That would that'd be good enough for me. And uh, but here uh, I couldn't pass. They, I passed a physical. You got to have a a physical and a medical card to drive a truck. And. Uh, so I got one from Oneida, from the Oneida Health Center. I took a physical and passed a physical, uh, and I think that was in February of this year. And then I got a medical, he gave me a medical card. But then I put in, so I told him, uh, mail carriers of America, that I wanted to come back. And they said I had to take a physical, first they said okay, and then I sent them my physical and everything, and then here later they wrote me a letter and said that uh, I had to take a physical from their doctor in Green Bay there. And uh, so then, so that I couldn't, I couldn't pass the physical. They said that uh, this uh, a woman doctor that's giving me a hard time <laughs> That she don't wanna. She said that uh, that I was off, you know, quite a while, and oh. and uh, so now, so that so that's then I thought, well, I guess I spoke, uh, my wife is retiring and everything. And your and your wife's name now? Carol, L. Smith. Now, when did you get? When did you marry Carol? Nineteen eighty-two. Eighty-two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you've got uh, two sons? Yeah. Okay. Now, do you have any grandchildren? Yeah. How many grandchildren do you have? Uh, five. Five? Yeah. And what's their names? Uh, Ashley, uh, uh, Thunder, and uh, Blaze, and... Uh, no, I only got four, I guess. <laughs> Any uh, great-grandchildren? No. 
Not yet, huh? No. You're working on that. Yeah. Okay. I've got yeah, grandchildren, or three son, three boys and one girl. Oh, I see. Okay. Now, um, let me ask you this. What is your opinion on the uh, on the per capita payment? What is uh, your thought? I think it it helps a lot of people in need, but then again, uh, I think they were there. Uh, a lot of people are are wasting it too. You know, I mean, they just they don't need it. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I think we should get it because. Uh, because of you know the, the high prices of everything and and uh, I don't like to I mean I don't really want to say I'm against it or not. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, do you think that uh, is there any areas that the tribe could do better in? In terms of the services they're providing, or do you th you think that uh, they're doing a good job in what they're doing right now? Uh, yeah, I think they're doing a pretty good job, but uh, I don't think a lot of people. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of. Uh, um, People uh, not doing anything. I mean, they're they're getting paid, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I think there should be better supervision, because uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, uh, I drove truck once, say dump truck, and for Chester Smith here, and uh, and uh, he wanted me to pick up a load of sand, so. So, so then uh, I went to pick up a load there, and a the guy, they said the guy, uh, the guy didn't come to work today. But they didn't have nobody else to, <laughs> to load me. And stuff, I mean, it's... That kind of thing, yeah. Little stuff like that, I think that, uh, uh, so then I had to wait, like maybe two, three hours, and then a the guy got into lunch, and, and he's on break. And, uh, and uh, the way I see it, and then there's to it is that a lot of people are absent from work. If you're not, if you're absent on the outside, you you don't have a job very long, right. you know. And uh, I, that's a lot of things that uh, I could see that the tribe could better themselves if they. Right. Uh, had more control and over people and uh, and uh, of all the equipment they they got and uh, and uh, and the trucks and uh, buses and uh, all that uh, you can see uh, cars and trucks. Uh, Maybe uh, they ain't even working and they're driving around and stuff like that. I could see uh, that, and and they and now they I see they got all new trucks. I was um, I I was also um, I got a used used car license dealer in the state of Wisconsin. I got a dealer dealer license and I can buy cars over at the Fox Valley Auto Auction and Fond du Lac and Wausau and Milwaukee and Minnesota and uh, and they had a bunch of trucks about a week ago for sale and boy them car them trucks and stuff was all beat I would say they were pretty well beat you know and uh, they don't take care of. They should take care of them better than that. Yeah, that's what I I saw that. And 
What, uh, what kind of recommendations would you give our youth? Um, just that they got a good chance of being whatever they want to be, you know. Uh, I'll just give you, a, I mean, my sons were, they were more athlete, athletic type. They like to play baseball and football. So that's what they done, you know. A lot of, I see, I mean, some of them are, uh, some of the young youth are dropping out and stuff like that. I think they should get their, stay in school, get their education. And uh, you could almost do whatever you want to do, you know. Good. That's the way I see it. Okay. All right, I want to thank you for sharing these stories with us. And now what I'd like to do is I'd like to take the okay. drink. All right, so, and then Alan will let you know when we're ready to we talk. Rolling. Go ahead. Okay. All right. This is the first picture. Well, yeah. it's just something that we uh, find. This first picture uh, is a picture of me and Iron Eyes Cody, a movie star that was in uh, uh, many movies. It, many uh, Indian movies, I've seen them, yeah. and uh, I was a. Uh, my uncle Al Smith, Alfia Smith, was um, was chief of the Consolidated Tribes, and uh, he um, got me into into the into the committee there. Mm -hmm. And started me into the, and uh, and I got to see a lot of the. We had a powwow, big powwows every summer, and uh, he he uh, encouraged me to be on the board. And I got to be on the board, and after he died, uh, I uh, I became the president of the Consolidated Tribes. Which is it was a chartered, chartered program uh, in the state of Wisconsin, and uh, nonprofit organization of all different tribes. You know, mm -hmm. you could be a, any. You could be a member of whatever. Yeah, where where's their headquarters out? And, uh, the headquarters was in Milwaukee, but. The, which I was the last one to to uh, be the the president, and uh, and uh, I gave the the museum, Oneida Museum, all the uh, all oh, that's the. Good to know. Does Gordy know that? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe let him know on the way out here. I gave all the. Huh? Let's see what what about the middle one. And that other one is uh, is uh, Lois Paulus, and uh, her husband John Danford, uh, that met Iron Eyes Cody too. From uh, uh, he he uh, came out was the master ceremonies for the powwows, and uh, and here is uh, this last one here is Emily. Emily Swamp and uh, Coleman. He was the former chief of the Consolidated Tribes, too. And, uh... Okay, we could probably set the next one up, then. That was... How about that wave in there? Do you need that cleaned up? Uh, when we get to the bottom one. <laughs> Okay, I guess what you could just do is point to which one you're talking about, and he'll go in and get a close-up of that. Yeah, this is just um, a picture of Iron Eyes Cody and the former chief, uh, chief Coleman and me, myself. Got it? Okay. And, uh, Uh, okay. These two pictures. This picture is um, 
is uh, a picture of me when I, I had to go to uh, Sheridan, Sheridan, Wyoming, All-American Indian Days. And, uh, and Robert Bennett, who is Oneida Indian, I met there. And I also met Mary Green Deer. And, uh, and it, it was a Miss America pageant. And that, and that she is the Miss Indian America. What year was that? Uh, that was way back. I can't really, really remember now. I don't know. When was it? No, it's not on there. It was in the 70s. Is there anything else from there that you want to see? or? Uh, no, that's just. Well, it's going to be cool to wear that headdress at that age. Oh. Uh, Mount Rushmore, and uh, this this guy here, that was that's me and my three sons, and that he was the first uh, uh, Indian on. He was the Indian that was on the nickel, and uh, I had a picture taken with him. I, he he used to. You mean the the buffalo? Yeah, the buffalo nickel. Oh, they used his head to be yeah. the buffalo or something. Yeah. Wow. You, he was the first. Uh, he he was at that in that uh, Mount Rushmore uh, in the tourism there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I mean, I got to go all over, yeah. meet people, and uh, but I mean, I don't have no pictures of. Um, I also met uh, Tonto. Oh yeah, Silver Hills. Yeah, Jay Silver Hills. He was our uh, MC at one time, and uh, but I never got no pictures. This is uh, this is just a picture of my uncle uh, Elijah Smith. He was uh, inducted into uh, the Indian Hall of Fame at uh, Can uh, Lawrence, Kansas, Haskell Institute. Oh, okay. Yeah. He was a he was a fullback. Oh, and they inducted all the all the unions uh, that were uh, I guess you would call famous uh, were inducted into the Indian Hall of Fame in Lawrence, Kansas. Uh, and I because I, I can I I knew um, Jack Jacobs used to be the Packer player, mm -hmm. and he's there too, you know. And my uncle. So you went out there with him, then, huh? Yeah, I, I went down there because they had, you know. And um. Uh, no. Uh, this is just a picture of uh, uh, Valder John. Yeah, we know who he is. And Phineas King. Uh, King. And then that's a picture of me uh, when I was in the Air Force. And, um. No, I didn't see him when I was in the Seen a lot of stuff between then and now, I bet, huh? Yeah. I'm not sure what you're talking about. The one that's on his leg right there keeps sticking to everything. Oh, okay. Stopped? Uh, tape over here. And this is just a picture of me uh, that I served in uh, in the Air Force. And uh, this was a uh, 50 year. 50 years. Anniversary. Is that the governor on the right there? And uh, this is the former and the mayor. Yeah. This is the for, former Jayden. mayor. Yeah, Jaden. And the former governor, uh, who uh, presented us with the uh, medal, yeah. this medal here. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, there's Valder. Valder was there also, and then there was two other Oneidas, Kenny Hill and uh, and uh, Do uh, Sorry, Clifford Doxterty. Uh, you got that one out? Yep. Okay.
This is just uh, this picture here is a picture of my three grandsons and two. We got six sessions. And uh, and my two sons. Uh, one one grandson's missing on that picture. Got some big genes in your family, huh? Yeah. So if we had a pack, I'm figuring. And uh, done with this? And this is just a picture of of my wife and now. Uh, yes, pretty. Yeah. And grandchildren. Yeah. No, I think from here on out we ought to just stick instead of. And uh, say this. Yeah, I think this is all of them. Oh, um, not much of an easel, but so. this is all all my uh, two sons and grandchildren. Where they live at? Uh, one lives, this, he lives in Wittenberg. Did okay. you get that long enough or not? Yeah. <laughs> but even with that, we should be, we should be balanced. Oh. I think we, we got it as long as you want to tell us what's on there. Oh. Yeah, my one son lives in Wittenberg. And uh, the other son lives in Bowler at the Stockbridge Reservation. Oh, okay. And, uh, Did he marry somebody from Stockbridge? Or? Um, no, he's not married no more. Or he never was married. This, this one was married, but uh, he's married and his wife works in Wausau. He's a nurse, works in Wausau. And the other one, he's not married at this time. Mm -hmm. of, uh, when I was at uh, old Highview School in Onai, I mean in uh, in De Pere, that's me right back there. <laughs> and, uh, I was in seventh grade at the time. And then there's there were some lower lot, class. There's a lot of other Oneidas that are. A lot of these people are still in Oneida. Yeah. Yeah. Coming in at that pitch. I mean, uh, this whole list is. Anything else just kind of upset. Uh, Winifred Smith, Beverly well, Smith, uh, uh, Carol, Carol Ellum, Herbie Steffes, Clayton Ellum, Kenny Steffes. We've interviewed a bunch of these people. Kenny Skinnador, uh, Eldred Skinnador, Reginald Skinnador, Raymond Ellum, Margie Skinnador, and myself. Dorothy Skinnador, David Smith, Ronnie Skinnador, uh, Kenny Skinnador, Ellsworth Skinnador, Doris Lyons, uh, Kenny Skinnador, and Millie Ellum. Are you going? It's just a picture of uh, this picture here is just of my grandfather and uh, my two cousins, Reginald Kenny Ellum and uh, this picture here is uh, is where I lived in the old house there. And uh, Howard Ellum and his family is in this picture here. And
and these pictures are my myself and my dad, and there's my myself and my dad, and these are uh, there's my father and I, my uncle, my other uncle, uh, Frizzell Ellum, Guy Ellum, uh, Wesley Summers, and Norman Ellum. And Sylvester Hill. And we're all relatives of mine. Oh, it's winter time, huh? Yeah. People don't take as many pictures in the winter as they do in the summertime. No. And um, I'm just, I got a, one of the bricks in Brown County veterans. Uh, uh, brick like that at, at uh, Brown County Veterans. I'll look for that when I'm over there. Yeah, uh, yeah, under the Air Force. So that's about. It's about all I got. Here. I mean, I got anything else you wanted to pick from Al? No, I think we got a pretty good representation there. Now, this is a new segment. Which one? This one here is uh, my two sons and my sister, I think Geraldine was, Parker. Her uh, late husband just passed away uh, last year. Seems to happen to the best of 